In this tutorial, I'll walk you through every step I use to create these grapes. Let's go! Before we get started, we need to activate an add-on. So go to Edit, Preferences, and in Add-ons, search for Extra, and then activate Add Mesh Extra Objects. Then we will start creating the stem. So we'll press Shift A, Mesh, and we'll add a single vert. And then we can extrude this single vert up. And then we can go into front view by pressing a one on your numpad or on the tilde key to open your view uh, menu and then select front. And then with E, we can extrude it to the left and then we select this vert again and then E and we'll extrude it to the right. I don't think we need to be too precise with the stem because all the grapes are going to be covering it anyways. And press tab to leave edit mode. Go into your modifiers tab and we'll add a skin modifier. And then press control 3 to add a uh, subdivision modifier. And go back into front view and then we can tab into edit mode. Press A to select all and then with control A we can make the skin a tiny bit thinner. And then maybe we can make the edges a tiny bit thicker. All just with control A and then here the middle point I'm going to make thinner as well there and I think that looks pretty good and then we can right click and shade smooth and then here we can see that it looks a tiny bit weird we can just move the mesh around a tiny bit there I think that looks much better okay now we'll start adding our grapes so from front view just press shift a mesh and we'll add a uv sphere I press Ctrl 2 to add a subdivision modifier, the shade auto smooth. Press tab to go into edit mode. Select the top vert, and then press O to activate proportional editing, and then we'll move it up a tiny bit so we get a tiny bit of that grape shape. There, just like that. Go back into front view, press O to deactivate proportional editing, A to select all, and then S, and we'll scale it down. There, and then that will be our bottom grape for now and now with all D we can make a links duplicate and then we can start moving these grapes around to uh, create the whole vine so press alt D and then rotate it around and then we'll move it up press period to change your uh, pivot point to 3d cursor and then you can just press alt D R Z 120 and then shift R to redo your last action and there we go, there we have three grapes and then we'll start slowly moving them around a bit when we have more and more of them so we have a nice composition. Um, now we can uh, basically select these top three, press Alt D and Z to move them up, R and Z to rotate them a tiny bit and then maybe we rotate this one a tiny bit more, Alt D here, we'll make another one and then maybe Alt D, R, Z and move that one into position there and you can go into front view and you can like just move them around a bit so they look nice there i think that looks perfect so then we can select these top five of them and then alt d and z move those up go into front view to see how it looks and then maybe just rotate it all the way and then rotate and move everything into a nice position there, move that one there, rotate this one around a tiny bit, maybe move it down. There, move this one up a tiny bit. Okay, I'm going to move the vine up a tiny bit, and then I'm gonna... Once more, it doesn't really matter how the back side looks, because we will just be using the front side for our render anyways. And I'm just going to copy these three and then Alt-D and move them up to complete our fine press period key to change it to median point so we can just rotate these around on their own there maybe move it like this and then there move this one down a tiny bit there go back into front view let's have a look now we can scale up a few scale up that one and you can just keep on moving them around until you have a composition you're happy with and 
there. I think that looks great. Move this one down and scale it down a tiny bit. That one as well, and that one as well. And then I'm gonna move up a tiny bit, and maybe rotate it a bit to make it look a tiny bit more interesting. And then I'm going to select all of it, press G and Z, move it down just a tiny bit. There. Okay, then we'll uh, add a background. So press Shift A and add a plane. Press RX 90 to rotate it. And then we can press G and Y and we'll move it down just a tiny bit. And then press A, Tab and A, S to scale it up. There. And I go into front view, tap to leave edit mode, shift A, and we'll add a camera. And then we can move the camera back. And then we'll go into camera view through our view menu or press zero on your numpad. And then G and Z twice to move it back a bit. And then we'll go into our output settings and we we'll change our resolution to 1920 by 1920. And then here we see that we need to move our grapes down a tiny bit there and maybe just a bit to the side just make it look nice in the middle there yeah that looks awesome okay i do think i'm going to scale down this one a tiny bit there duh. that's good okay then we'll go and do our lighting so if you go here to your render properties and you change the render engine to cycles and the device to gpu compute viewport uh, samples you can change it to 128 and we'll change our render samples to 512 and we'll scroll down go into color management and we'll change our look to medium high contrast now if we press set to open up our shading menu and we go to rendered we can start adding the lighting I'm just going to add two simple lights this time one from the left and one from the right top a tiny bit so we have a nice drop shadow on our background so we'll press period and change our pivot point to 3d cursor then shift a light and we'll add a area light press g and z to move it up and then rx 45 and then we'll press R Z and we'll rotate it a bit like that and then R X X there I think that looks pretty great that uh, costs a nice shadow on our background maybe I'll change it a tiny bit so it's a bit more from the side there we go um, go into your light settings and then we'll change the color um, to uh, let's have a look c295ff c295ff it's going to be a nice pink color purple-ish and then we'll change the the power to 100 no that's too much change the power to 50 and it looks much better uh, press shift a light and add another area light press r and z move it up and then press r and y and we'll move it and you can basically point it at the corner here and then i'm going to change this power to 100 uh, maybe also a bit less 40 maybe we'll start off there um we can always adjust the lighting a tiny bit later once we've added our materials which is something we'll be doing right now so we'll start with our background so with the background selected go to your material settings press new we'll call it background and then we'll change the base color to ae a2 e7 and then we'll do the grape so select one of the grapes and then you can add a new we'll call it grape and then the base color is going to be 795 cc6 and we'll change our roughness to 0.3 and then we'll have the vine and that is going to be all it fine and we'll change the base color to 39c b73 and we'll change our roughness to 0.3 like that now we'll change our world colors which will lighten up the piece a whole lot because it might look a bit dark right now but if we go in here to our world tab change the color and we'll change it to ff9 7f6 
then you can see like it lights up a whole lot more and gives a gives the piece a very nice color um, now we can also see like the shade shadows are a bit too weak so now we can play a bit with our lighting so press G and set and I'm going to move that one back a tiny bit this one I almost feel is not strong enough I would like it to cast the shadow a tiny bit so I go to the area light settings and then maybe maybe even change it to 200 this is uh and there now we can see a slight shadow and i like it shouldn't be too uh, much of a shade shadow on the background and there we go thanks for joining me if you have any questions or requests drop them in the comments below and feel free to like and subscribe i'd love to see your results so tag me on instagram see you soon